name is Mark. Hi, this is Cindy. So today we have set up a wireless point to market for network running on 60 gigahertz using our Terabyte Citadel product, which is the MLTG series. Yay! So for today's mission, we are going to demonstrate its capabilities by performing actual throughput tests. So to give you some background information on this technology, the Terragraph technology was developed by Facebook Connectivity. It's based on the latest AO2.AY standard, and with this technology, gigabit speeds can be delivered wirelessly using the 60 gigahertz spectrum, which is practically noise-free and largely unlicensed in most parts of the world. So without further ado, let's go! So today we have invited special guest, Hussein and Long, and he's a senior software manager at Edge 4 Networks. So hi Long. Hi. Thank you for joining us today. So um, can you share with us about the Terra solutions as an application? Yes. So imagining the telegraphs can be used in a lot of applications. Uh, this is designed to provide gigabit per second service over the air. Especially the 60 gigahertz on license when it's used. So you can create a link quickly. You don't need a license. So it's a wonderful last mile solution for the wireless ISP. Going to multiple points, up to 60 clients per base station, the TDMA support, and forward multiple gigabit per second track. It's really fantastic. Depend on the service availability. In the measuring telegraph, I support the mesh routing to hard to cover a large area, and it's on the layer 2 transparent bridge for the wireless ISP2. It can work as the backhaul for the small cell or Wi Fi access point to provide us access service and it can work for smart city IoT application too. Thank you Long for sharing. So now could you give us a quick introduction on our MLTG series and also explain to us how we will conduct the throughput test today. Okay. Um, in today's test uh, we were using one distributed node and 15 client nodes. Uh, the distributed nodes uh, they are for 11 AY radios is built in and each radio can support up to 4.6 gigabit per second modulation over the air. And each radio can connect up to 15 clients. Today, we want to see how the Facebook Telegraph uh, TDM will work. So just connect 15 clients to the distributed node and forward traffic, 125 megabit per second traffic, uplink and downlink in the same time to see what it happens. So, so let's begin the test. The test is already set up in our environment, so we're going to remotely and run this test. Uh, let's look into the test. So you can see uh, there are 15 clients connect to the distributed node, and for each link, uh, there are 125 megabit per second traffic descending from the packet generator. So in this column, we can see uh, the receipt, receipt rate, the real receipt, the throughput. Okay. From the right side, uh, you can see the 30 links, including 15 uplink and 15 uh, downlink. So the, even the poor clients can get more than 80 megabit per second strength. So it's really fantastic. And the, what, the TTM is working very well. So in your real life scenario, uh, let's say there's a small amount of users you know, taking out the bandwidth. Uh, so what's the distribution of this going to be? Okay, uh, the TDMA can work for this case too. Yeah. In real situation, they are less than 5% active users. So the TDMA can work for this case too. We can see the test report for four kinds things to see. So now the test results are ready. In addition to the test result for 15 clients, uh, we're also presenting the test result for four clients. And this was a test that we had conducted previously for comparison. So Long, could you uh, give us some insight on the test result? Okay, let's look, look into the test result. There are four client nodes, CN1, CN2, CN3, CN4. So you can see uh, in the bidirectional test, uh, they are almost the same, 450 to 70 megabit per second uh, for the downlink and almost the same for the uplink. So totally 1.8 1 gigabit per second for the downlink and 1.7 gigabit per second for the uplink. So totally uh, more than 3.5 gigabit per second traffic is forwarded. 
in the TDMA. So you can the TDMA can auto detect a kind of number and share the media access for these kinds. And next, so that, let's look at the 15 kind of case from CN1 to CN15. It's almost the same. You can see it's very wonderful for the TDMA particle. All the clients get almost the same uplink and downlink traffic. Yeah. And totally more than 3.2 gigabit per second traffic. Yeah. But one thing you need to mention, the time is, the half of the time is reserved for the uplink and downlink. So for the uplink test, downlink test is almost the same. So thank you for sharing this amazing uh, test results with us. Uh, so Long, can you also share other details about the Terraform solutions to our viewers? Okay, so first one is a new technology. The 11AY radio provides 4.6 gigabit per second modulations over the radio. The second one, you need to know the TDMA particle. It's a time division multiple acoustic particle to separate the uh, air time for each kind. So the traffic is very smooth and fairness. Each one can get 200 megabit per second traffic. So totally more than 3.5. 2 gigabit per second traffic. The next one is from the software site. So we support the mesh routing topology and support the layer to transfer bridge. This can support the deployment flexibility. Okay, so the last one, I'm just one. <laughs> <laughs> there are four radios built in the distributed node. So it's fantastic. You can support up to 60 clients bank. So you can imagine. You deploy one distributed node and can service 60 subscribers. Yeah. So the next one is that we there's a GUI interface. So user can set up the device easily. So it all sounds great. Uh, and we would like to know if there will be any future updates coming in the near future. Yes, that's interesting. So we are working on the channel bounding for the 11 a one You can double the radio modulation rate up to 9 gigabit per second. Yeah. And we are working on the cloud management control functions for the Telegram. So you can manage all these Telegram devices in our cloud data. So thank you Long for sharing these amazing details about Telegram solutions. Uh, so in conclusions, uh, basically as you can see from our test result today, uh, we have 15 clients connected and we have one distribution now and we can still achieve 3.5 gigahertz speed uh, in our test report. So if you'd like to know more about our MLTG series, you can visit our website. And if you have any sales inquiries, please feel free to contact our sales team. So thank you guys for watching. And if you guys like our video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channels. Bye.